All processes that attract a payment will have a system-generated invoice or invoices as well as the accepted payment channels to be used. As such, you should not make any additional payments to facilitate the processing of your application. Welcome to the Gate Mutation Application Process on Adisasa. A mutation form is a document used to register some survey processes, for example, land subdivisions, land amalgamations, and is always issued in triplicate by a licensed surveyor. This process can only be initiated by either a licensed surveyor or an approved county surveyor, all of whom must have an active practicing license and be registered on Adisasa. To begin with, you log into the platform. You'll then be required to enter user credentials, that is, the identification number or the Adisasa ID, the password you used when creating your account, and then click Continue. You'll be provided with a one-time password code, an OTP, which will be sent to the phone number you used to register with on the platform. Once you have received the OTP, type the code onto the OTP prompt box and then click Login. You'll then be navigated to the dashboard. It's important to note that when you first log in, the account you're logged in as is your private account. For you to initiate this process, you will need to switch to your licensed surveyor account or your approved county surveyor account. So you do so by clicking on the profile icon. It will display a drop-down menu with the professional account which has been approved for you. Switch to the appropriate account. For more information on how to upgrade to a professional account, check out our YouTube tutorial on the same through the link in the video description. On the landing page, you will navigate to the survey and mapping department. There are a number of services offered here. Proceed and click on Get Mutation. You'll be navigated to the Applications page, and here there are two tabs provided, namely Pending and Completed. The Pending tab features applications that you have initiated but have not completed. They still need some action from your side. And the Completed tab features applications that you have done to fruition with the end goal of downloading and printing the mutation document. For you to initiate this application as a license surveyor, you will click on the New Application button on the top right hand corner. Upon doing so, you'll be navigated to a page with FAQs, which is the frequently asked questions related to this process. It is highly recommended that you go through all of them to get an understanding of the terminologies used as well as the requirements needed. You can then go ahead and click on Next. You'll then be navigated to the Land Control Board Details section. It is key to note that it is mandatory to fill in the details with an asterisk sign alongside them, failure to which will not be able to successfully submit the application. You'll first be required to provide the proprietor details, kindly select the holding type, which could be either sole, joint, or proprietorship in common. In this case, we'll go with sole. You'll also be required to select the Adisasa registration status of the proprietor, who could either be registered or not registered. If said proprietor is not registered, you'll need to provide their full names, select the identification type, enter the identification number based on the choice you made above, and then click on the Add button, and the details you entered will be populated underneath. However, in our case, the proprietor is a registered Adisasa user, so we'll select Registered, provide the Adisasa ID of the proprietor, and then click on search, and the details of the proprietor will be populated underneath. We'll then move on to the parcel details, where you'll first enter the parcel number. You'll also enter the area of the parcel, the registration section of said parcel, the nature of transaction in question, the issue date of the Lands Control Board consent, and finally, the term of the parcel. Then there's other details. Here, you'll provide the Land Control Board Consent Letter Reference Number as well as your License Surveyor License Number. With all the required fields having been filled, you can go ahead and click on Next. The last section is the Verify Details section with all the details that you have provided. So go through the entire page and verify the information that you entered. If satisfied, you can go ahead and click on Submit. You also have the option of going back if you need to edit any information. For this case, we'll proceed and click on Submit. Upon doing so, you'll be prompted to approve on whether you indeed want to submit the request, 
and then proceed and click yes. You'll then get a confirmation message on a pop-up box to affirm that the application has been submitted successfully and then click on close. At this point, the proprietor, if registered on the platform, will have received a notification stating that the application has been initiated on their parcel. As is featured in the FAQ section, one of the requirements needed to facilitate this application process to fruition is the payment of the mutation form fee. This is a fee that is paid to the ministry after the submission of the application. This payment can be made by either the license surveyor or the proprietor. As such, you'll navigate to the invoice section, click on the pay button, and you'll be provided with the available methods for payment as well as the procedures to be used. Once the payment is made, you will click on the confirm button as is featured on the bottom left hand corner. Upon doing so, the status of the payment will change from pending to complete. A key thing to note is that you will have the option of viewing the invoice. So upon clicking on view, two options will be displayed. There is the invoice and the receipt. Once you click on the invoice, you'll be able to view the invoice details and as you can see, it has been paid. You'll also have the opportunity to download said invoice to your local machine. So once the payment has been made, you can navigate to the application details page and you'll see the download button. Upon clicking on it, you'll be navigated to a page where you can view the desired document and you can download it as well. That's it for this tutorial on the Gate Mutation application process on Adisasa. Feel free to give feedback on this tutorial in the comments section below. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell button alongside the subscribe button to get notifications on new videos as and when we post them. Also follow us on our social media handles, that is at Adisasa underscore KE on Twitter and Instagram and at Adisasa on Facebook. Thanks for watching and goodbye.